Today we are talking about a very critical and also very interesting topic in software development team management which is the bus vector. Okay, before diving into the main topic, I would like to start with a story of a software development team. So imagine a team where the few key individuals of the team hold the critical knowledge and skills for the project and if the key individuals are absent or as the term suggests hit by a bus then the project would be in very difficult situation actually the project would suffer a significant setbacks which brings us back to the topic we are to discuss in this video the bus vector the bus vector essentially describes the number of key individual whose absence would cripple the project. Bus factor not only describes the number of key individual to essentially cripple the project, but it also gives us some hint of other important thing like how well is the resource of the team being utilized and what is the team's power to mitigate this kind of worst case scenario. We have got the idea what is bus factor, why it is important. Now Let's see what are some steps we can take to mitigate the unexpected risk of bus factor. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can have a culture of knowledge sharing in the team so that all the important aspects of the project is shared among all the team members. And the second thing we can do is we can practice keeping documentation of all the important things of the project. And another thing is cross training of team members, which can be done through pair programming, where two developer collaboratively develop a feature. One developer actively implement the code and other member understand the things being done. Another way of cross team training is a good code review practice which also promotes to share the knowledge. There can be some other good practices to mitigate the risk of bus factor. I would love to know what is the bus factor of your team and what are the strategies you are following to mitigate the unexpected risk of bus factor. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.